This is everything you need to know about the Nike Blazers. Now this is old school. What's good everyone, this is John from The Soul Supplier and this is everything you need to know about the Nike Blazers. The Nike Blazer is an old school classic with a modern twist. If you know about dad shoes, this was probably your dad's dad shoe when it first came out, considering how long ago it was. The Nike Blazer is a true reflection of silhouettes that came out in the 1970s. Originally, the purpose of the Nike Blazer was to help Nike make a name for itself in the basketball world. Now bear in mind that this was a decade before Michael Jordan even entered the NBA, before they even invented Nike Air, and they were only a few years removed since being called Blue Ribbon Sports. It's also worth noting that Blazers have a striking resemblance to Converse One Stars, which was the go-to basketball shoe at the time. Essentially, Nike were trying to establish their place in a market dominated by Adidas and Converse. Funny enough, the name of the silhouette was most likely inspired by the Portland Trail Blazers, who were the official NBA basketball team of the state of Oregon when Nike was also first founded. The silhouette has since been adopted by a few communities since it phased out of basketball, most notably the skateboarding community, who love the shoe for its durability and the traction on its soles. Transferring the blazer from the hardwood to the concrete streets. Here in the UK, blazers are more of an acquired taste, but we at The Source Supplier believe it shouldn't just be about your Nike Dunks, Jordan 4s or Jordan 1s. Shout out to Dave. So this video is going to be for people who want something a little bit different or you just genuinely want to know about the Nike Blazer. So before we kick off this review, I'm going to go from left to right here. So we have the Jumbo, Vintage Mid, Vintage Low, Next Nature, Premium and the SB. Starting off with the packaging, most Nike Blazers come in the old school orange box. This is honestly quite cool to me because it feels very retro. You have the Nike logos all across every single panel of the shoe box and this nice little body of text you have right here. There are two exceptions however, so the Move to Zero one will come in the recycled packaging and the SB one will come in the purple SB box. The uppers of Blazers will mainly consist of synthetic levers. You will get a swoosh that will vary in materials. So this one right here is a smooth suede, but in the jumbo pair you do have levers and then over here for the premium, you do have some sort of felt texture as well. When you feel the material, it tends to feel like the same material that you get on an Air Force One triple white. Every pair I have in front of me also come with deconstructive tongues, so you can see the foam in the inside of them. Nike branding will come in the form of the label on the tongue, the swoosh on the side, and the back tab where it says Nike as well. The foxing across the blazer is also made of a dense rubber, so you can really feel the traction on these and they should be really sturdy. There isn't too much to say about it when it comes to details, but that is what makes this shoe such a simple classic that everyone loves. My personal favorite from the bunch is actually the Jumbo Blazer right here. I do really like this elastic lining that they have on the top right here, mainly just because the sturdiness of the traditional old pairs might feel a bit too rigid for me, so I prefer the movement that you get from the Jumbo pair. The overall design choices like the stitching as well as the fatter laces just makes it feel like it's a bit more modern for me and something that I feel is a bit more stylish in comparison to the older pairs. One other detail I actually enjoy about the Jumbo Blazer is the fact that it has a pull tab here on the tongue and here on the back tab. This kind of actually reminds me of the Mars Yard. I don't know if you guys see it. It's actually like right here. See it? One other thing to note about the Jumbo Blazer as well is the fact that its outsole is completely different to the rest of them, having a debossed zigzag pattern rather than an embossed zigzag pattern like this one right here. You can just opt for the lower version instead though if you don't like how high the Blazer goes. So this vintage low could be the one for you as well. And if I had to tell you the difference with the premium pair in comparison to all of the rest of them, the suede just feels a lot more dustier and premium, as well as the leather having this cracked texture, which reminds me of all of those Amamanier pairs if you've ever owned a personal one yourself. The SB pair is also a standout in itself, mainly because the upper is completely made out of suede with the swoosh and the back tab being made of leather instead. Plus the traction on this feels a lot more bulkier in comparison to all of the other blazers we have here. I do also see that this actually has air zoom technology inside of the shoe as well. When it comes to the padding and cushioning of the shoes, I really feel like it differs depending on what pair you choose. I feel like the Next Nature one and the Premium definitely have more padding than the Vintage ones, for example. Obviously, because of the elasticity, there isn't any cushioning here in the Jumbo. And for the SB one, obviously you can't be falling around in these. So this one's gonna be bulky as well. That's pretty much it when it comes to reviewing each individual shoe. To be honest, it's such a clean and simple, like elegant silhouette that you don't need to go into too much detail to make this look right. Moving on to the general comfort of the silhouette, the Nike Blazer is truly something that sticks to its roots. 
that would mean that it is much more classic than it is innovative. And what I mean by that is it won't be as comfortable as any of Nike's modern day sneakers since it is such a historical shoe. But even if it's not the most comfortable shoe, it definitely is durable, especially the SB ones. If I had to put it into perspective, you definitely can compare these to other old school sneakers from other brands like the New Balance 550, Adidas Superstars and the Converse One Star. I mean, it came from that time period after all. Even if it isn't the most comfortable shoe in the world, people really love these anyway just because of the style and the heritage. Nostalgia just makes a shoe wearable, it be like that sometimes. When it comes to pricing, the Nike Blazer is something that's readily available and plenty of colorways are available on the site. It's just one of those pairs that don't have to break your bank when you go shopping for it. So Blazer mids go for just under £100 and the low goes for just under £85. You do also have a buy you option on the Nike website which charges £115, so that 15 quid is for the extra customizations. And when blazers go on sale, they tend to be around 50 to 60 pounds, so you don't have to spend too much to look good in a pair of blazers. The general consensus when it comes to sizing for Nike blazers is they have a narrow build and they have a long length. So, for your convenience and ease, you should probably be going half a size up in these, mainly because it has such a tight build to it, especially if you have wide feet. So don't go true to size, if you're a wide footed guy. I will also warn you that they may have a break-in period, so make sure that you're getting the correct size, which for me will definitely be half a size up. So I would recommend loosening the laces when you get a fresh pair of blazers, just so they feel a little bit more wearable. I did get a mixture of true size, half size up, and full size up. I just think that half size up works the best, just because it doesn't feel too tight or too loose. It's just the perfect fit for me. If anything, we have the size guide on our website, so make sure to click the i button so you can see the different opinions from the team. When it comes to the styling of Nike blazers, I personally haven't owned any in my rotation, but I have seen this plenty of times in the streets of London, and I must say I am not disappointed by what I've been able to see. Personally, I really like the look of these with oversized t-shirts, a pair of shorts, as well as some crew socks. It really does feel like a shoe that's been made for the summer or the autumn seasons, so once the temperature drops a little bit, you can still wear this with a pair of long denims, a white t-shirt and some plaid button-ups. It's honestly a simple classic that has a great depth of versatility to it, so whether you dress up or dress down, you just can't go wrong with it. So it will be easy as to create a solid fit no matter what you choose to wear with the Nike Blazer. When it comes to collaborations, there have been a few notable brands that have taken their spin on the Nike Blazer. Off-White, Supreme, Cause and Sakai to name a few, but my personal favourites definitely have to be the Hallow's Eve pair, as well as the ready-made pairs that we saw a couple years ago. On the other hand, there are going to be people who argue that less is more, so a simple GR for these pairs is just probably the right direction to go with it. And that was a quick roundup of everything that you needed to know about the Nike Blazers. Hopefully it's shined a light on a pair that not everyone talks about nowadays, but it is a pair that is going to be here to stay for the foreseeable future. I've been John from The Soul Supplier, guys. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We do have a recurring series for this for different silhouettes. We just covered Yeezy Slides, but we've covered New Balance and other Nike pairs as well. We are seeing what you're saying in the comments, so make sure to let us know what you want us to cover next. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.